ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Bang! 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 I'm sure it came from that direction. Come on! This poor fellow has passed help. Better report this to the sheriff. Let uh, me look around, Kimitami. W.D. A monogram glove, a dead man, and a child's wooden rifle. It did not make sense, Kimasevi. No, but Sheriff Larson may be able to identify the owner of this glove. Come on. Morning, Sheriff. Heard you wanted to see me. What's it all about? This yours, Will? Why, it sure enough is. Where'd you find it? Where'd you lose it, Will? Why, I remember the day before yesterday over at Sam's barn. I remember now. I laid it right down on the counter beside me. You'll have to do better than that, Will. That gun was found at Flat Rock, near Max Sunday's body. His... his body? He was shot to death with an Enfield rifle. As far as I know, you're the only one around here with an Enfield. You aiming to say I did this, Sheriff? It's your glove, Will. But I told you I lost it. Yeah, just heard about the shooting of Max Sunday, Sheriff. Awful thing, wasn't it? Came over here to offer any help I can. Mr. Tech, uh, you remember the other day at Sam's bar? You were standing right alongside of me. Remember I laid my glove down on the counter? I don't remember no glove. But I do remember hearing you saying that if Max Sunday ever tore down your fences again, you'd kill him. That's a lie! Well, that's enough for me. Jed, lock him up. But, Sheriff, I swear I didn't do it. I'm, uh, I'm just holding you, Will. You'll have your say at the hearing. Tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, for Judge Saunders. Sheriff. Yes, Will? My young uns are home alone. Don't be scared if I'm not home by dark. I'll send word, Will. Thank you, Sheriff. Good job, Sheriff. Mighty efficient, too. Come election time, us voters won't forget. I don't like it, Sheriff. It's just too pat. Maybe you think it's pat. Maybe even I think it's pat. But the jury won't. They'll hang him. Well, anybody could have picked up that glove in Sam's bar. Ed Decker himself, for one. It's mighty strange that he should have heard about the murder so soon and showed up here just at the right time to clinch the case against Will Donovan. I never thought of that. Tell me, could Decker himself have had a motive for killing Max Sunday? He owed Max money, but uh, that's not a clincher, is it? No, but could be a motive. I know what you're thinking, Ranger. I don't like Decker either. But if you want to connect him with this murder, you've got to have more than motive. You've got to have evidence. And you've got to have it by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. What did you find out, Tuttle? Uh, me take this to schoolyard like you say, Kimasabe. Boy see it, say it belonged to him. Did you get his name? Him named Danny Summers. Did he say how and when he lost the gun? Him tight-lipped boy, Kimasabe. Him not talk means he was close by at the time of the murder. 
Sheriff, I'm going to have a talk with his parents. Ranger, I keep thinking about Will Donovan's kids. I wish you luck. If the boy did see anything, I'll have him in court tomorrow morning. Summer's place, Tonto. You two men I expect are from the Decker Ranch. I ain't surprised. And I ain't unprepared for you. And don't think because I'm a woman I can't shoot because I can. Especially when a Decker's man. Now get. We're not from the Decker Ranch, ma'am. I said get. Both of you. Nancy. For Pete's sake, don't shoot the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? <laughs> Shucks, I, I wouldn't have shot you anyhow, Ranger. I was just bluffing. Darn thing ain't even loaded. You had me worried there for a moment, Mrs. Summers. Ranger? Otto? Hello, Al. Pa, that's the engine that has my gun. Never mind about that, boy. We found your gun at Flat Rock this morning, Danny. You were out there playing, weren't you? No such thing. The gun had lain there only a few minutes before we found it, Al. You must have been out there. What about it, Danny? Danny, you leave him be. Al, you can't. A few minutes ago, you thought we were from the Decker Ranch. Why, Mrs. Summers? Has Decker been threatening you because of something you know? I tell you, we don't know nothing. And why are you afraid of Decker? Because we're nesters, that's why. Because Ed's a big cattleman. He wants what we got. He wants our water. And he'd just as leave kill us as look at us to get it. Day in, day out, from one sun up to the next, we never know when he's going to ride in here with his men and bust our fences, trample our crops, and run us out of here. That's why we're scared. And it ain't for no other reason, none. Well, I just want you to know that your neighbor, Will Donovan, is being arrested for the murder of Max Sunday. If something doesn't happen mighty quick to save him, he's going to hang for that crime. I don't believe he did it, Mrs. Summers. And I think you know he didn't. I tell you, we don't know nothing. Don't think too hard of him, mister. Things has been awful tough for Al. <laughs> Time was when Al Summers would have took no guff off Ed Decker or any man alive. If he ain't that way now, it ain't his fault. Seems hard times just took the starch out of him. But he's a good man, Al is. And I ain't gonna have you thinking small of him. You understand? Not you or anyone in this world. Fine woman, Tonto. A man could have the world with a fence around it. And if he didn't have a woman like that, he wouldn't have anything. Will Donovan's in real trouble, Al. Who ain't? Al, I recollect the time you busted your leg and couldn't get out and harvest the crops. They'd have rotted in the ground, Al, if Will hadn't took time out from his own work and come over and help us. And I recollect another time, too, when Danny was little. We was down to our last cup of flour. Our last cup, Al. Will, he come over with a sack of potatoes, saying as how he had more than he could use, and would we do him the favor of taking him off his hands. And you know... Let be, woman, let be. Can't you see I'm covered with blood? Decker is our man. I was never more sure of anything in my life. And he, too, must own an Enfield rifle. But how we prove that, Kim Sammy? We've got to prove it, Tonto. Somebody come. Drive team and wagon. Whoa, girls, whoa! Well, take my purse, sir. But when you find it empty, return it, I pray you, without the customary sneer, because I am, alas, a poor man. Uh, we don't want your money, Professor. Believe me. We're not outlaws. Well, do tell. Well, then perhaps I could interest you in something more precious than gold. The miracle discovery of the ages, proclaimed throughout the entire civilized world by statesmen, kings, great physicians. There's vitality in every golden drop. There's health in every single precious bottle. Now, as a youth, I was sickly and scrawny. Hold it, Professor. Tell me, what do you take for your wagon, your horses, and uh, all those precious bottles? Now, don't rush me, gents. I have here the miracle discovery of the ages, 
known throughout the entire universe by king, statesmen, and great physicians. Vitality in every golden drop. Health in every precious bottle. You better take some yourself, Professor. <laughs> On the contrary, sir. I'm a deceptive figure. As a youth, I was sickly. You don't look so good right now. <laughs> I had dark spots before my eyes. My hands shook until, guided by fate, I secured from a dying Indian chief this formula to cure all human ills. After taking one bottle, yes, it made a new man out of me. And I can truthfully say that my hand is, is steady as a rock. My eye is keen as a hawk. And I can boldly say that I'm a sure shot this side of the Allegheny Mountains. <laughs> I just bet you are. Sir? Fifty dollars says that I could shoot an apple off this engine's head at, uh, fifty paces. <laughs> I'll just take that bet. Sir, a common revolver? <laughs> a gentleman shoots with a rifle. Here, bud. There you are, Professor. A sharp, sir? An unreliable weapon if I ever saw one. I reject it. What are you trying to do, crawfish out of your bet? All I ask for is a simple courtesy of a civilized weapon. Obviously, the tolerable Enfield isn't known in these dark parts. I got you there, Professor. You thought you could ask for an Enfield because you thought I didn't have one, didn't you? Well, it so happens I have. Here, bud, go to my room. You'll find a lock trunk at the foot of my bed. Bring me the rifle that's in it. That'll teach you, you old humbug. <laughs> hey, uh, Professor. Dig a grave for that engine, boys. <laughs> Him very small apple, Professor. <laughs> Good shooting, Professor. Thanks for the Enfield, Decker. This is all I need to bring you to justice. Hold it! Forget I proved this gun can shoot. and visit. Come on. You just see two men, old man and an engine? No, but... What are you doing here? That kid at Al Somers. He was out there at Flat Rock this morning. That's what I came to tell you. They think he saw what happened. Al Somers' kid, huh? Yeah. Supposing he talked. He won't talk. His daddy won't let him. How are you going to stop him? I'll show you how. Come on, boys. Here's your evidence, Sheriff. An Enfield rifle with ED carved on the stock. That's Ed Decker. It's evidence, all right, but it's not proof. It's the strongest kind of proof if we can get Al Summers' boy to testify in court. Where's Jed Crawley? I sent him off to look in on Will Donovan's kids. Well, that's not where he went. He went to the Decker ranch. Come on, Donovan. Where are you going? To Al Summers' place ahead off Ed Decker. And I hope we're not too late. <laughs> I 
yourself for this. We just can't buck him, mister. We ain't big enough. That isn't so, Mr. Summers. I don't mean to sound unfeeling, but you're in the right. You've got to stand up and fight for it. And we have evidence connecting Ed Decker with the murder of Max Sunday. All we need to make it stick is Danny's testimony in court tomorrow morning. He didn't see nothing, mister. But he did, Mrs. Summers. You know he did. Look at this house. Look at my owl beat half to death. Next time, it's going to be Danny. They come to teach us a lesson, mister, and they did. He didn't see nothing, I tell you. Do you understand that, mister? He didn't see nothing. Nancy. It's all right, Al. Lie still. You got to listen to me, Nancy, and listen careful. It's all right, Al. It's all right. Many's the time I, when I prayed to have the strength to be the kind of man you wanted. The kind I wanted to be, too. Uh, I reckon it just wasn't in me. I'm sorry. No, Al. You got no cause to blame yourself. I'm laying the blame where it belongs. Only now, now I don't care. Count, I ain't scared no more. That beaten Decker gave me, just to make sure that Danny wouldn't talk. Just to take the last bit of gumption out of me, put something into me. We ain't gonna be pushed around no more, Nancy. Like the Ranger says, we gotta fight back. And we're gonna fight back. Come morning, we're gonna hitch up the buckboard. We're gonna drive into town. And my boy Danny's gonna tell everything he knows, word for word. Oh, Al. Al, I'm so proud. So proud. Do you hear that, mister? Do you hear my man? Yes, ma'am. I'm almost as proud as you are. We'll be back tomorrow morning. I'll escort you into town to make certain that nothing else happens. Adios. Tracks a buckboard here. Them already gone, but them not go alone. Many men go with them. It has to be Decker. How could he have known? I may not know that, Kimisami. If they're in Decker's hands this time, it won't be just a beating. It'll be murder. Come on. All right, good job, boys. You know, Al, I thought that little rough enough we gave you to teach you a lesson. Dick, how many murders do you think you can get away with? This ain't gonna be a murder, Al. Just an accident. All right, boys, get busy. Fill her up with rocks. Red, disconnect that brake rod. Take a look, Al. What are they doing, Pa? What are they gonna do to us? Your Pa ain't scared, Danny. Don't you be. Over the hill, Tom, at the same time. All right, boys, stand clear.
is not a trial, Ed. It's a hearing. So go ahead. Speak your piece. I will, Your Honor. Your Honor, it weren't Will Donovan. But Ed Decker himself what murdered Max Sunday. And Jed Crowley's in on the whole dirty deal. My son Danny here can prove it. Man, sure is some shot. You live to be a hundred, boy. Don't you never forget him. For what he did for you and your ma and me. Me more than either of you. Because he put something back in me that was took out long ago. Hey, Nancy? Only wish I could have thanked him proper. But I reckon nobody gets a chance to thank the Lone Ranger.